Looking handsome. Don't care. Looking handsome. Uh, don't care. Anyway, that's, uh, that's the two teams. Looking handsome versus don't care. That's what's going on here. It's Highlander and uh, kind of looking forward to 66 coming up at LAN, which I will be attending in Dallas this weekend. But you know what? Highlander is still happening. UGC going on every Monday. So it's time to see which of these Platinum teams is going to come out on top. I don't know the records right now, sadly enough, but you can find them on the UGC website if you were so inclined to figure out which team is doing the best in UGC Platinum, the highest division. I mean, everybody's doing pretty well up there. I know that I have never even come close to beating a Platinum team, so <laughs> these guys, they're doing something right. And it seems like their snipers are pretty darn good. Kalai has taken a couple of hits here, but you know what? He doesn't care. Or I should say he don't care, which... Grammatically, you know, kind of makes me cringe, but uh, he d he don't. He don't. Oh, I shouldn't even say that. I just... I don't think I have the skin qualification to say that. Uh, but yeah, Crux setting up some sticky traps above the doorway here and figured out that one of them was actually going to be visible. It gets pressured a little bit by a sniper, and this is a very good sniping location. As long as you've got, you know, somebody here to defend you, a scout or demo or whatever sneaks in on top of you. Got Spy versus Spy, and oh, Bone Masher, who is normally an amazing spy, gets taken out. So does the Spy for our red team. That's bad. So both of them are down, and right now, mid's actually going back to looking handsome at the moment. We've got an attempt at a back cap here, but he's being shut down very effectively by a demo. Uh, forces the uber, actually, and the back cap happens, so Crux, single-handedly, the blue demo there, held off the attack on that second point. And now, oh, this is not good for our don't care, the red team. They are in trouble. There is a medic heavy going for a back cap. Nobody in position to stop this. I think they're just going to go for last year. Hein and his heavy, that is Stingray. Actually, we've got Jeff L on the last point right now. Jeff uh, used to be on... On, what do you call Oh, Hein did die there. Heineken is dead. So that's too bad. Anyway, Jeff was on Des Desolation Angels. That's right. And I don't know... I. Uh, I don't know if he if this is like a remake of Death Angels or if this is a totally different team. Don't care because I don't see one of my uh, my other friends there from Desolation Angels. That of course is S Dog, and he kind of made the team. I think I don't know. I don't know their team dynamic. I do know that I always saw him on the medic, and I don't see him on the medic now. Knut the cow dog. Wait, can the cow dog? Did I say that right? No, the conqueror. Darn it! I was thinking Hank the Cow Dog. It's been so long since I've read those books. I need to get one out. I don't even own any. I need to get one from the library or something. Buy them off Amazon. Whatever. Definitely need to get my hands on some Hank the Cow Dog. Because it has been way too long. And that sticky trap could have actually killed our Pyro here, but uh, Myelin. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Seems like he's going to be okay with living to fight another day. He will have to deal with a Crits Heavy potentially sneaking in here. And there is a sticky trap over there. And there you go, the, uh, oh, ouch. So the heavy dies. There is a good amount of defense on the point. They are keeping the pyro off for the moment. This is a very common thing to do. Send your pyro in beneath the point, and he can air blast people off of it, try to keep them away as he caps it. But uh, it did not work out very well for them, and it looks like our blue team ends up dying there. They uh, wrangled mini sentry going down. Even the teleporter over here, engineer, going after the medic, which is uh, more common than you might think in Highlander. Uh, I've seen a lot of engineers really play very effectively. Oh, that's scary play very effectively, uh, who used to play Scout, believe it or not. If you play Scout, making an Engineer is a fairly easy transition. You don't get the double jump, you don't get the speed, but if you've got that good aim with the shotgun, uh, you drop down a mini sentry for it to be a little friend, and you can harass the crap out of anyone. So you see Engineers getting medic picks quite a lot at this high level. Anyway, uh, he tried, didn't work, but you never know. I do love watching me some Engineers, and bad, actually trying to get around behind. Oh, this guy is not catching a break right now. It seems like neither team's spy is really catching a break on Gully Wash, and that makes sense. There's really only two ways to push in here. You can go through the big door, or you can go through the little door. You can even take the drop down, but that's going to be washed too, and there you go. <laughs> Bad tries taking the drop down. Didn't work at all. So I'm glad we caught that on camera. Sorry, Bad. No, no, uh, no hate for me. It's just this is a tough map to get around behind the enemy team. And now it's Sniper versus Sniper. Napalm trying to get some kind of an advantage, but actually walking upstairs. There is an Uber just fading away for our blue team. Wow! Might not have been the world's best aggression there, because a very good counter Uber from Canute. I still want to say the Cow Dog, but Canute the Conqueror, keeping the rest of his team alive as they push here onto the middle point now. And Mylan's pretty much just watching for spies and bat caps and shenanigans. 
Um, wait, why are they called Team? They're not called Team Win. They're called Don't Care. I thought he didn't. You're not supposed to care, Mylan. Well, he obviously doesn't care enough to wear a hat. Actually, half of his team isn't wearing hats. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. At least this guy has sunglasses on. Oh my gosh, you guys. Everybody knows this is a fashion contest. Get those hats on, okay? This is this is ridiculous. I know, I know, I know. You don't care. And uh, speaking of which, Kalai just walked straight into the entire enemy team and got his uh, his blood handed to him. So looking handsome, which I believe is pretty much the former ex Jedi team, is uh, oh getting a nice medic stab with the spy sickle. <laughs> looks terrible. So that's looking pretty good right now, actually for our red as they yep have taken out Hein. Crux is down. Bank is sitting behind a good amount of his team so he's not going to get pressured anytime soon. Uh, and the Uber is in. A very free Uber. They've still got to build up a little bit just because... Ooh. Too bad. Uh, just because... Oh no, actually they lose their medic. I was going to say because of the Vitasaw that Hein is running they're going to have to be very careful about that. Of course they probably expect it. I mean if, if they have paid any attention... Oh no! Roger! Oh, you didn't live long enough there, man. I wanted to see a mini sentry get punched to death, but oh well, maybe maybe another time. And ruin! Oh my gosh, I completely forgot. I completely missed that this guy is on one of the teams. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it for looking handsome, just because of ruin. Never mind. Uh, there is a backup going on once again. Who's gonna win this cap race? Looks like blue team. They had some good positioning, and I don't know what happened to the. Ra oh, you know what? It was actually it was bad. It was the spy here going for that back cap, and it did not work out for him at all. This medic knows what's up, and somehow Crux still got that. What? Did, I didn't even. Did he see that demo? He must have a wider FOV than me. That must be what it is. He must have seen the demo. I didn't see that demo, and then all of a sudden there was a dead demo on his screen. Man, crazy stuff going on. Well, we do have. Newt the cow dog getting up at about 75% Uber here and Heineken at 100%. Adamsk is using his or Adamsk? I don't know. I like Adamsk better because that sounds more Russian, even though he's an American soldier. But he's sitting up there on that perch, very normal spot for soldiers to be. And in fact, a lot of them will not even fire rockets down. They'll just kind of wait for their opponents to walk through. And look at that, Adamsk actually playing a decent roaming soldier there forces the Uber pop very early from Heineken. But his team is still in. They have forced the Uber now out of the red team. They are trying to get some good kills here. They've got a couple, but it's really only a sentry and clip right now. And Bone Mash are doing some good work, as well as Napalm takes down Jeff L. So at this point, there's only four players left alive for Don't Care. And I wonder if they care about that. Somebody tell me. Well, Knut just died, and you know what? Even a team called Don't Care has got to care about that. So this is probably going to be around here for Looking Handsome, even if there are a whole bunch of spawns, which there won't be. But there are a few. But even so, I mean, they're, they're just not in position to stop this cap right now. Napalm is watching the point. They're probably going to have some big spam coming in soon. Yes, they do. They've got lots of shotgun going on. Roger Workman, the engineer, actually getting a bunch of kills. And Ruin ends up with a capture. So that is 1-0, to zero, a very well-played round, although both teams going back and forth like crazy on this map. Gullywash, I mean, ah, was I, I, was, I think it was Trekkie I was talking to. Maybe it was somebody else, but I was saying, man... It seems like I always see people just going back and forth from, from one last point to the other on Gully Wash, and he goes, well, no, that shouldn't be happening because Gully Wash has such narrow choke points. To an extent, I agree with him, because, yeah, if it's got these really narrow chokes, you just fall back to the next choke and hold it, but that's not what people do. So, uh, yeah, it, it goes back and forth a lot. Napalm down, so no sniper for looking handsome. This may be another lost mid-fight for them. Ew! Heineken stabbed in the back. So he is not going to get that crits up anytime soon. It is just Roger alive right now, keeping an overheal, actually. Uh, so I'm not even sure where he got that overheal, but setting down a mini sentry, and he's just going to try to... Oh, this is actually not probably good. Um, well, oh, you know what? He has found... the. Oh, I'm sorry, not the engineer. The, the sniper. The engineer has found the sniper, going for that kill. Didn't get it, though. And what is that sniper's health at? Uh, it's not too bad. Oh, Ruin! No! That wasn't even Ruin. That was Ruin doing distraction play. <laughs> bad. Ruin doing the distraction play while the sniper bank actually oh no not bank I'm sorry the other way around it is uh, Napalm on defense Napalm got a huge headshot forced the uber drop Crux is now down though so no no uh, sticky bombs to guard the point and Bad's gonna sneak in beneath looks like a uh, enterprising engineer Roger Workman has found him and that guy I mean if, if you want a man to do some work obviously Roger Workman he's got the name work in his name. And uh, look at the work he's doing right now, setting up a sentry down beneath the point. 
An interesting location. It's not going to be able to stop a lot of enemy mobility in here, but you don't always need to, especially when you've got nine classes, including a heavy, spun up like this. Uh, that's going to be one of the advantages to Highlander. You can set the sentries up in weird spots, and really their, their only job is to kind of guard one specific area. You don't always have to guard everything like you do in 6v6. A little bit of a, a soft push out by our blue team. Didn't really pay off very well. Stingray, Ruin, and Napalm are all down. And seven seconds left on the respawn timer means that our red team might push in. No, that's not going to work too well. Bank gets backstabbed. Clip in exchange is down, so no soldier for the moment. But everybody else respawns. Here comes a charge pretty soon. There you go. Pops it just as those rollers land beneath his feet. And so Knut the Cowdog is bringing the rest of his team in here. Oh, there is an uber pop. A uh, very good defensive uber. Well, not a very good defensive uber, actually, as a lot of players died in the periphery anyway, and that's going to be round one going to... Well, of course, round two. But the first round taken by Team Hobad? Team Don't Care, anyway, is, is where we're going with that. And Bone Masher. This guy right here. We've seen him casted in some absolutely outstanding situations, so let's see what his rollout to Gully Wash looks like because I can't get this guy enough screen time. I really can't. He's awesome. Using a, let's see, that's going to be the regular invisibility watch. Sneaks right past those sticky bombs, which you always got to be a little scared when that's happening. But he manages to find his way past, oh, find his way past their team. Now he's got to get a, a couple of big kills here, and he's going to go for the medic. Gets that one. Gets away with it. So that's all he absolutely needed to do. He could have gone for the sniper as well, but the sniper was watching for him. And so, oh wow, Napalm actually takes down the sniper instead. So now it's time for Bone Masher to go sneak up behind. Uh, nope, spotted out, gets killed. So that's too bad. And wow, that heavy sounds a little bit scary. But you know, it does look as if, once again, the mid fight is won temporarily by Don't Care. Problem is, Don't Care is going to have an Uber to deal with. They need to force that uber pop very, very early, and they haven't done it yet. They're actually getting bombed in right now. There is the uber, and they do keep their medic safe. Knut the Cowdog, I, I'm not going to stop calling him that. It's hilarious. Is uh, is running all the way back into the base, and he does get away. Scout Ruin trying to go for the kill, and didn't manage it at all. Cliff jumps up and says, oh, you know what? There's an engineer up here. Let's uh, let's not let that happen, actually. Oh, no! Oh, Clip. It was, it was your moment to shine there, and that didn't really work very well. So... The middle point does get captured by the blue team, and don't care on our red is going to have to uh, start guarding their chokes a little bit better, or else they're just going to let second point get lost as well. They do have a bit of an uber advantage, so I'm kind of surprised that looking handsome is able to push in so hard here. Scout actually uh, realized... That, that's one of the things you can do as Scout. He jumped up into the air and double jumped backwards, used the heavy's minigun that was shooting at him as momentum to get pushed further back and, uh, and travel just a little bit faster. Getting away from that ruin. Oh no, taken down by Bink. So Knut has 100% Uber, but can't really make use of it. Bad uh, is in some trouble. I think they know where he is now. And so they're just going to chase him. Well, they're not going to chase him down, but they do know that Bad is behind their own lines. And so uh, where is the action going to happen? Heineken almost has 100%. Are they going to push in this side? Maybe, although they know their opponents have an uber built up, so it would... Well, no, they get one kill. Myelin is down. That's going to be pretty important, as a pyro can really spoil an uber. So, they could push in on this. They've actually got their soldier really far forward. Clip. Oh, clip. Oh, no. That push. I mean, he was already in a bad position. He couldn't really retreat very effectively, so he was kind of stuck there. Did the best he could, but uh, it's a problem when you start losing your damage classes like that. And now, players getting in on the right-hand side. Napalm, the sniper, is down, and uh, Ubers are in for both teams. I don't know if I agree with the decision by Blue to stay in, but you know what? It's working for them, and they are probably going to get the second point now. Oh, losing the heavy, though. This is the problem. Uh, yeah, I, I like the way that Red played that. The don't-care team. They said, okay, well, if they're going to Uber into us, we can just back off for a second because we know our Uber's going to fade. And then once they're all done and, and we've gotten a couple of extra picks, we can push right back in and steamroll onto the middle point. And that is what they're doing. They've killed Hein. Mylan. <laughs> Mylan apparently has a Dilbert tie. Ah, i got to get the camera right. There we go. Look at that. That's hilarious. I wish I could make my ties stand up like that. Maybe I just need to starch them extra hard. But Napalm gets taken out by Bumpy the Scout. And now with don't care once again f f uh, well apparently he don't care about gravity but with don't care once again standing on this middle point 
and holding down their chokes very effectively. They shouldn't have too much trouble. Bone Masher is hanging out with a cloak and dagger, which, considering that there is a pyro running around acting like a madman, it's probably not a bad idea. He can wait for the opportune moment, but the problem is there may not be an opportune moment. His enemies may get way past him here. They are all in low ground right now, so one thing Bone Masher is doing is calling out where they are, which is decently useful. And this pyro is just looking, looking, looking. But yeah, actually, Bone Masher. Oh, no, don't decloak there. Don't do it, Bone Masher. They can see you, they can see you, Bone Masher! No! No, what are you doing? Well, he got a stab on the spy anyway, so his sp both spies are dead. Ruin also down for our blue team, and there goes a little bit of. No, I'm sorry, I thought that was an uber, early uber, but both teams have ubered. Problem is, blue is now multi ubering. They kept it on the pyro for a while. And he's going for the kill on the medic here, can't quite get it. And in fact, Knute the Cowlog gets away with half health. He might have a sandwich drop for him, I would hope. Nope, apparently he's not that hungry. There you go, Heavy. Being a bro. Yeah, so looking handsome. I'm having some trouble right now. Their combo is stuck. They cannot get back into their base. And there's a wrangled mini sentry over here. So, wow. Hein uh, was not in the greatest of positions there after that little aggression. And, you know, at that point, after they made that decision to stay in and the enemy having medic wrapped around and cut off their retreat route, there was nothing they could do except just try to make the most of the situation. Problem is, <laughs> two on nine rarely ever works out. Now, nice kill by Napalm to hold off the point for just a little while. Bank is down, so that's not going to be any uh, any picks coming in from the sniper anytime soon. So really, the uh, question... Wait a minute. Who's using that? Oh, it sounds like we got a horny soldier coming in from our red team, and they do have the uber on the soldier as well, so he's going to be dealing mini crit damage while invincible. That is a fun position to be in. So there goes Stingray Heineken. It's pretty much all over for this point. Looking handsome. I'm going to take it up to 2 to 1. And things are looking a little bit more exciting now. Everybody respawning over there, and we will see... Uh, uh, who do we want to watch roll out this time around? I kind of want to see a demo man, and we're already a little bit too late. Come on, we're, come on, come on. Okay, so anyway, Blue is running the crits once again, which is fairly standard on a 5CP map that's this short especially. You know that you can try and build up that crits very, very quickly on the way out to the mid-fight. And, of course, Collide took that passive roll out to the left side, which means... Uh, he can lay down sticks up right there, pretty much scouts, whatever tries to walk up that ramp will be cut off. Problem is, they couldn't cut off anybody from over on this side. Heineken is down once again, just cannot seem to get that crits up at mid. I heard them make a pill for that, but no, he can't seem to do it. Nonetheless, this time, they might finally have won the mid fight, interestingly enough. They didn't get the kill on Knut, and that's going to be trouble down the road. But winning the mid-fight in the Highlander is pretty darn important. In fact, it is hugely important. Because even if the opponents try to make a push, even if they have an uber advantage, you've got like nine players in the field. So especially when they're using a regular invulnerability uber, um, it's very, very difficult to get out there and capture the point properly and take the position that you need to do. So they are doing that just now. They're getting the demo and heavy out here. And wow, lots of kills coming in, actually. So... Difficult, but not impossible, as the entire red team is pushing very effectively, spamming this choke where their entire opposing team is running away. Only four players left for Looking Handsome. That's not a position you want to be in. They are going to try and set up some sticky traps over here, do some spam over at the corridor, but this scout is getting right on top of Crux, and he could take him down! Oh my god! Scout kills Crux while he is being overhealed by a heavy, and now Hein is down as well. This is really looking bad for our blue team at the moment. Ruin may come in and try to play spoiler, waiting for this health kit up here. Come on, where is that stupid health kit? There you go. That's uh, At least that's what I'm feeling like whenever I'm waiting for one. He is going to come in and try to get a kill on the medic. Gets a couple of shots off, but not really anything... Uh, oops, camera. Not really anything too terribly useful. Knut, now building up to almost 93%. Napalm is down, so he's not going to be able to snipe this guy as he comes in. It's, it's going to require some desperation play here out of looking handsome if they want to be able to stop this attack. And Knut brings in the demo and the heavy once again. This time around, the heavy actually got taken down there. Not too bad. Wow, actually, that uber really kind of failed. And Crux, pain trains, collide, the opposing demo man. So always fun to see that happening. Bad, though, he could come in. If he gets the pick... Oh, he didn't get the demo pick. He's going for it. Uh, <laughs> instead, he goes for the stab on the sentry, which, by the way doesn't usually work that well. So that attack did not work, and very wise of our blue team to take advantage of that. They've already got their sniper out watching this choke over here, and they had the scout capping the point. So Napalm gets taken down. 
but does it matter as Hein is pushing his team and he's almost got 100% uber right now. Ruin gets in and gets two kills, one with a pistol on the engineer, by the way. Uh, and then overdose, I think that was the overdose, taking down the teleporter. Um, and you know what, you do see that happen every so often, a medic just whips out the needles for a second and says, guys, come on, why is nobody else killing this teleporter? I've done it in Highlander matches, because everyone else is like too busy getting kills or something, so it's like, oh, fine. But yeah, Hein already has 100%. They need to take advantage of the position they have now, because if they can get in here and get the enemy medic killed, that's what they need to do. So far, not happening. Oh, drops the Uber! A fizzling ice statue there, bad, gets the perfect spy pick. I think he got away with it, too. Yep, 62 health left. He is still alive, so... He'll be humming a little tune to himself, I'm sure you're all familiar with, having played Valve games before. If you if that was a little too obscure for you. Portal. Portal. I said the word portal. Now you can laugh and chortle and talk about cake all you want. Please, I want to see like a hundred comments about cake and how it's a lie. And and uh, that'll just that'll make me super happy. Uh, Canoe pushing in here, though, with 100% Uber. He wants to take Kalia, but he also wants to take the Heavy. It seems like they really like to, to Uber both the Heavy and Demo at the same time, bring them in, deal a lot of damage, and just get these two guys in a very strong position, because the rest of the team can really play off that very effectively. But we'll see whether they actually do. Napalm. I'm sorry, is that Napalm? No, that's Bank. My bad. I'm an idiot. Bank trying to do some sniping through this choke point. There is a Spy decloaking. Oh, he could get the pick! No. So there goes the Uber right now. Bumpy coming around the side. And that sentry is still up. Level 3 above the point. It gets taken down, but the Uber is now popped for our blue team. They take down uh, Fragwar very, very easily. The heavy there for Red, who just could not retreat fast enough from the superior mobility of, well, everybody. And now there is trouble on the home front for our red team. Collide with two health left and their soldier coming in trying to jump and maybe take out the medic. He did get, I think, one kill there. Atomisk took from the teleporter. Oh, he killed Napalm as well. So, yeah, not, not too bad. But that's, you know, not, uh, not ideal as now his entire team is dying. Nonetheless, team don't care. Could still hold on to this. Bank waiting for the kill. Cannot quite get that engineer who... Roger Workman earning his paycheck by dodging sniper bullets. So, the question here is, why is Steam just now choosing to uh, restart for me and completely ruin my frame rate? But the other question is, can Don't Care hold on to mid? And it looks like the answer is yes. They are going to have to deal with an Uber coming in pretty soon. The medic, a little bit far forward, considering he does not have an Uber yet. So this could actually be really bad. Looks like they're not getting pushed too hard yet. Ah, there you go! Uber coming in right now. They need to get somebody on top of that medic very quickly, though, or he's going to have an Uber. Oh, he's 95%, and he is kind of situated. Oh, he gets it. But he's not popping. What are you doing, Knut the Cowdog? Oh, no. That is not good. So he's got a problem now. Frag going to chomp on that sandwich, because once again, remember, you can't drop the sandwich for yourself anymore. You can only drop it for other people. So uh, he had to sit there and actually chomp away at it and waste valuable seconds that he could have been ambushed. And he's probably going to get killed here anyway by an amazing scout. Fathom actually steals the kill from Ruin after Ruin did like a billion damage to him. And Ruin now has five health left. You know, somebody could spit on him and he'd go down, but there you go. Gets the heals on, and so now he's going to go play the, the roaming aggressive scout as there is no heavy to try and stop him right now. He still has to be careful. There's like eight classes up. And uh, no, he decides to be a little more passive. Help cap, maybe. That would probably be a good thing for a scout to do. But wow, I was thinking this round was going to go in favor of Don't Care. If you recall, they were... Oh, no. Whoa, he actually got away with it. That was the funny thing. Ruin, like, shot at him once. And he was just like, oh, okay, no, you're totally not a spy. Oh, man. Anyway. Yeah, it was all the way back on Looking Handsome's last point. And now it's not. So, this is... Just a little bit demoralizing, maybe, for Team Don't Care. But, you know, maybe it isn't, after all, because they don't care. Haha, <laughs> get it? It's funny, because it's their team name. And Bank eats it. So that's not going to be good. Oh, we've got a little bit of a Jurati going on here. Throwing PP on the red players as well. So this Uber not doing a lot of damage yet. And there you go, the Uber is popped now for our red team. But it doesn't matter, because we had a uh, Spy, Pyro, and Heavy all walk from underneath the point, got on the cap, and tied it up. Two to two. Let's check these. Uh, okay, come on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to see. I want to see what a pyro does in mid. Anyway, let's check these scores out. Okay, so we've got 
ruin. <laughs> okay, that's all I need to say about the blue team. And then, uh, yeah, red's looking a little better in terms of their uh, natural order of things. So now Fathom is going to come over here. Fathom, whatever, Fathom. He's going to come over here and start looking for spies. Not really looking behind him so much. He is, in fact, looking the same way practically everybody else is. And that's a problem because the medic just died to a spy. Oh, so we do have Canute with an 80% Uber right now. He has to back away a little bit because they are getting spammed pretty heavily from a, a, a blue team that's doing quite well. Bone Masher running the cloak and dagger again. And he does find a sniper to kill, so he's going to be very happy about that. And we'll probably look around for uh, another way in. Got to be careful he doesn't get caught out here, but it looks like everybody's going to start spamming towards that left side of the door, and he was sitting on the right side. Here comes the Uber now, and Bone Masher just going to go in for the spy on the soldier. How is he not dead yet? There you go. So the Uber was popped just a bit early there for Canute. I don't know whether it was forced. Looks like he's still at 150 health, so I'm not sure why they popped it. But they did, and now there's going to be a huge advantage to Heineken. Which does mean that Team Looking Handsome is going to get in here pretty soon. I'm trying to find a good camera angle for this. Uh, Jeff L, of course, laying down that level 2 sentry right now. Uh, I think it's level 2. It's only level 1. Uh, no, it looks like level 2. It'll have the little heart monitor come out for level 3. Anyway, enough of that. Mannequin push, pushing in here with 100% Uber now. He's got to be careful. Oh no, that's crits! Okay, I was going to say he has to be careful that, uh, that he doesn't get himself headshot before he pops the Uber, but actually he can get headshot during the Uber as well, because hey, it's a crits Krieg, you're not invulnerable. They only got like one kill out of that too, but... Uh, over on the sides, I mean, everybody else was taking down a bunch of players, and there you go, only two left alive. Canute the Cowdog getting in here with the Needles, tries to get a kill. Uh, he does take down Ruin, interestingly enough, but it is not nearly enough to stop the points from going up to 3-2 to two now in favor of our blue team looking handsome. And that is an interesting little combo for the Heavy. The uh, Steel Jaw and the Spine Chilling Skull, I want to say. It might not actually be the Spine Chilling Skull. Somebody is going to make fun of me for that later on. They're just going to be like, Salamancer, why don't you know anything about fashion? I'm going to be like, uh... Honestly, I haven't been playing the game that long. It's only been like two years, three years, three years, two years? I don't remember. Anyway, immediately Napalm takes down Knut, so already Blue Team's in a good position. If they just back out now, keep all their players alive, they could give up mid, walk back in and get the kills. But they don't even have to right now. They've got to be careful walking out of this choke point. Oh, <coughs> because Collide is still alive and is trying to spam in. Bumpy coming in here over on the sides as well. But no, the medic gets out here only to uh, die right next to his fellow doctor. They're kind of staring at each other longingly over on the point while action happens all over the place. And in fact, the reincarnation of that Red Doctor already had an Uber somehow during this pause. And, oh, by the way, <laughs> you can't headshot an Invincible Heavy. Uh, well, we all pretty much knew what was going to happen there anyway. My apologies. Wait a minute. That Heavy is... Okay, there we go. The, the medic was looking invincible for a little while. That was cute. Anyway, um... Didn't quite get the camera on where it needed to be. They are having some player problems right now, though. It is 7 versus 8 for some reason. Now getting up to 8 versus 8. But after that pause, it seems like a bunch of players dropped. Uh, the first one to drop was Clip. Or no, not Clip. I'm sorry. Um, Crux? No. No, it was Roger Workman, right? The uh, Yeah, the engineer for our blue team. And so there is definitely a lack of players in the field at the moment. It is. They're still playing 8 versus 8. And there is no uber advantage for either team right now as they kind of skate around, hover a little bit. That was fun to watch. That, of course, happens after a pause. The Source Engine just kind of doesn't quite update the uh, the players correctly. And, in fact, we do still have this Invincible Medic thing going on here. Um, but once they die or whatever, it gets fixed. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. I could always, like, restart the recording or something to fix it, too. But I think it's hilarious, so I don't. Anyway, it is now 8 versus 9 as these players get back into the game. I'm kind of surprised that they aren't trying to pause it again. Maybe they just figured the pause was causing more trouble than it was worth. And look at the jump in by Adamisk! Whoa! It takes down a Hein with an amazing soldier jump. And actually, it's a fairly common one on Gully Watch, but you got to be watching out for it. And it looks like looking handsome it was not at all. So they are in some trouble right now. The one, the one bright spot is that they are killing practically everyone right now. Where is Knut at the moment? because uh, his, his cow dog butt needs to be very far back right now. He does 
look like he's trying to build Nubra up, but he's not going to have any kind of advantage at all, which is just too bad. Speaking of bad, got uh, got himself just a little bit in some trouble here, using the Dead Ringer, but oh, got away from that somehow. I have no idea how. Now let's look at the defensive setup here. Once again, our blue team, who is still 8 versus 9, interestingly enough, is set up with their sentry up high, and that is such a tough sentry location to take down. You don't see it in 6v6 a lot, because it takes so long to get ahead. Uh, oh, okay, well, it looks like that was halftime. I will continue that conversation after the half. Uh, looks like they are not even changing colors, I don't think, so we are going to have still a red team as don't care. And blue team as our wonderful friends looking handsome. I was talking about that sentry. Okay, so the sentry location out here, yes, yes, there's action going on. Um, not important, we got to talk about sentry locations. Actually, that's some pretty crazy action going on here. Beautiful headshots by the snipers. Uh, snipers are still facing off against each other. Beck, sorry, Bank is backing away. Doesn't want to get himself shot to death by Napalm. I know I don't mean Napalm, Napalm. I mean, like, the player Napalm. Um, anyway, okay, so sentry location up there on that high ground. It's so difficult to deal with. I mean, you have to either hit it directly with those uh, rockets and and pills, or else you pretty much just have to uber straight in underneath it and then take it out, and that's a tough thing to do. So right now, blue team, I mean, they pretty much, what they did last half was just held out until halftime was over. Now, they're using the kind of reset that we had there when it was 2-2 two to two to turn this game around, and so I do think... Ooh, I do think they're going to have a very good chance of pushing in the last point. Uh, Ruin gets taken down but we do have Heavy versus Heavy here, Stingray pushing forward, and Blue really wants to just get in here. They pop the Uber a little bit early. They do force the Uber pop out of red now, and they, yeah, they're just going to back out. Don't really like what's happening right there. And there you go, Adamusk ends up biting the bullet, proverbially. Meanwhile, Fragwar doing a pretty darn good job of taking players down, and it looks like he wanted to drop a sandwich for himself. Before he realized he couldn't do that, it's always kind of sad. But don't worry, one day we will stop talking about it because heavies will finally remember that they can't drop their own sandwich and eat it anymore. Uh, and then they'll stop making that silly looking little maneuver. Anyway, uh, red team can't use that opportunity to push out, sadly enough. They are going to be stuck on the last point once again. And if you if you can't get a spy, a scout, something out there very quickly in a Highlander, there's almost always going to be one or two players, at least from the opposing team, to spoil a push out to the second. So you pretty much have to sit back and watch your last unless you get a complete wipeout, or unless you can really coordinate well and make very sure that your players don't let anybody through for a back cap. So far, uh, red team has not shown they can do that very easily. We have seen it happen once from blue, where they pushed out quite effectively from their last point. Anyway, here comes the Uber now, and wow, that was a very quick death there for the soldier. I'm inclined to believe there might have been a sticky trap. Sentry gets sapped, though, and then taken down with the pills. Nonetheless, it's only 5 versus 7. Ruin is beneath the point, but he's taken a lot of damage right now. One body shot from that sniper could have finished him off. And there you go, he does get killed by Bumpy. So, I'm used to seeing Ruin just completely dominate games. And, I mean, score-wise, I guess he is, but I haven't seen him get a lot of kills. Every time I go to his camera, it's like he's going to die. Uh, so that's going to be the spy getting shown who is the boss. And yet he still wants to get in here and chase him down. So that's that. Activating the Dead Ringer for no particular reason. Pretty much, Blue Team is going to hold downstairs for a little while, and the medic is still trying to do his disappearing act. That's uh, a little disconcerting right now. We've got spam coming down the side. Heavy trying to knock that out. And really, you don't normally see a he um, heavy medic combo standing downstairs like that. They, they kind of limit their options just a little bit. Uh, because it's going to take quite a while to get up there. Wow, what is going on back here? We did have a soldier versus pyro battle that I think neither team won that one. But the Uber is now popped for both teams. Fathom is kind of just saying, no, guys, we need to back away here. Finds the spot. What? Wait, how did he get... I don't even understand what should happen there. The spy somehow got put out immediately as soon as he was lit on fire, and I didn't see anybody near him to do that. So, a little confusing. Just a little bit. 
but our blue team still holds a point for now. There is a heavy medic coming in from the left-hand side. Meanwhile, Heineken and his heavy are staying over on the right on the high ground so they can just keep themselves alive for a little bit longer. And actually, this push is not working out very well for Don't Care. I don't know. Um, I think this is pretty much all the players they had him before, so it seems like they're just not playing as coordinated, as effectively as they were in the first half. And they lose their sniper. Jeff, meanwhile, got taken down by... Uh, spy, so they're not going to have an engineer to play with for a little while. Looks like Knut's trying to get away from a pyro. Can't do it! And that's Fathom taking him down with a shotgun, so very quickly, it looks like our blue team smells blood in the water here. It's laying down a mini sentry just to try and cut off anybody who wants to stop the cap, but it didn't even matter. The engineer here, that would be uh, Roger, and the pyro, Fathom, both sneaking in for a bat cap before anybody could get in and stop them. I like it. And so now it is, I think... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It might be 4-2. to two. I thought it was 3-2, to two, but now that I think about it, uh, I don't even remember the score anymore. So, my bad. We'll just see what happens this round. I think it's 4-2, to two, actually. Well, whatever. Whatever. We'll figure it out. Knut Knutson the Knut Dog is uh, bringing his right handed heavy up the right side of this point, and it looks as if they have actually spammed out their opponents for now. Hein building up his uber, that is regular medigun, so they are going to have invulnerability ready pretty soon, as are their opponents. And they're pushing in once again, just just tentatively, to see if they can't get away with anything. They cannot, though. Uh, are they actually going to pop uber? Yes, they are. Stingray, problem is, look at his... Whoa! Did that just happen? Okay, well, the heavy had an uber on him for a second, and then he didn't, and he died. Anyway, um... I was going to say Stingray had very low health, and even after that, uh, even after he came out of the Uber, he was probably going to still have low health, but it doesn't matter as the Medic now... No, Knut still got away, but the Heavy's dead. A lot of the damage classes for the Red Team are down, and so there's a lot of support classes left up right now uh, with more and more players dropping for Don't Care. So I think looking handsome, especially if this is the 4-2 uh, the to round, that you could definitely win this very quickly. There's two players standing on... Maybe it's just one player. Hold on. Somebody's got a pain train. No, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody does have a pain train. That would be our demo man using the pain train. And he immediately jumps in toward this upper left-hand side. Um, okay, apparently somebody just got married, I guess. There's a spy creeping around here. Bad. Did not get away with that move at all. He got spotted out, although he did get a kill on Ruin, funnily enough, who actually bumped into him but couldn't find him. It's always a bad feeling. It's like, I know the spy is there, but he's still actually dangerous. And uh, Adamsk sneaks in for just a little bit of damage. Blue's pushing on this. What are you doing? It was like 6 versus 8. That's not a position to push in, and yet they're doing it anyway. So that, uh, that Uber, I mean, they didn't even force Red's pop. That's that's how poor that push was. Um, Spy going in for a back cap, and that, for some reason, forced an Uber out of Canute. Now, interestingly, whoa! Pyro sneaks in and gets a kill on the heavy while the Uber's going on. So the Uber was being flashed all over the place. Did not get flashed that heavy in time. Napalm chucks that P on the scout right before he gets taken down. It is just Crux and Hind left. Crux gets a kill anyway! Always good to be watching your sticky traps, as long as the opponents aren't getting right in your face like this scout is. Go on straight for the medic. Can he get the kill on Hein? Doesn't matter. Adams actually got it. And Crux uh, is just a little bit far forward here. He is actually relying on the rest of his team who have respawned to come and help him defend. And they do that very successfully. Feels like there's a heavy spun up somewhere, just looking for kills. But Crux and the Pyro are going to sneak around the left-hand side. And by the way, if you want a band name, that's, uh, that's on me. It's a free one, Crux and the Pyro. But Crux is uh, just going to start laying some stickies down all over the place, trying to limit his enemy's mobility out of these doors, which, I mean, they're probably not going to walk out anyway now. But they do have an uber advantage, so we'll see how Red decides to play this. Roger Workman, down below the point, gets taken down for no particular reason. Meanwhile, Jeff setting up his sentry just right next to the spawn doors. Um, and there's a spy over here. Bone Masher is. Is he using the uh, Cloak and Dagger again? I would think so. This is like the best spot for the Cloak and Dagger, his last point. Bad! Wants to get a stab, can't do it. Meanwhile, where is. Uh, nope, Bone Masher got taken down by the sentry. So, 100% Uber for Knut. Uh, where is he, though? It looks like he's probably going to stay back. Fragwar gets a kill on a scout. Can he get away? Yes, he can! Eight health left! And he's going to chomp on this sandwich with no hands. That's pretty cool. 
But yeah, I would say that's probably delicious too. Yeah, Fragwar somehow got away from that. He's going to keep his team alive for quite a bit longer. Napalm taken down by Myelin. So, wow, our red team still owns the inside of their base. It's an odd position to be in, but they actually uber out. They're going to get a couple of kills here. They've taken down Singray. And, wow, I don't think our blue team is ready for this at all. Ruin could go for a back cap if he wants to, but it might be a little bit too late for that now. He's going to sneak in. Maybe he could get this, but there is going to be a sentry on the last point. And, no, he decides against that. So, Ruin is uh, just going to go upstairs. Oh, you know what? He might actually be able to sneak beneath the point. This could be it. This could end the game right here if he gets this back cap, which I think he will. Nobody's here to defend it except the sentry. They were relying on the sentry too much. And there he goes. Takes that down. 2-0. to zero. Of course, that's in this half, and I want to say that's GG, ladies and gentlemen. We've got players leaving already. So that's it, guys. This has been, of course, Salamancer coming at you with an awesome, epic Highlander game here that was looking handsome with five points and don't care with two. But bear in mind that it's not just wins and losses in the UGC League that count. It is points as well. If you win a round or two during a game, that actually puts you ahead of teams who don't win any rounds. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Of course, subscribe to me on youtube.com slash fatmop, and I will see you guys later.